Hi everyone and welcome to a very very special Dot 2 figure review by me Megashots and as you can see today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Forbidden Planet and San Diego Comic Con 2009 exclusive First Doctor and Saucer Commander Dalek from the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Now most of you will probably know the story of how I got these. Um, I got these I got these two figures along with the Second Doctor and Tomb Cyberman from ForbiddenPlanet.com. I pre-ordered them just a couple of weeks before they came out and now I have them and they are absolutely brilliant figures. Now as you can see I have them out of their box. Now I did say to quite a few of you that I was going to keep them in their boxes but since, the, since I realised that the black and white versions of these two figures were actually more limited than the colour editions of the figures which I was buying I decided that I'd take them out of their box and they are absolutely brilliant figures they really are and if I just kept them in their box then I would have been staring at them for hours on end with, um, and I am really glad that I've taken them out of their box and they are brilliant figures now this review will be done in two parts. In part one I'll be showing you around the packaging and reviewing the first Doctor figure and then in part two I'll be reviewing the Saucer Commander Dalek and then I'll be giving you my final score on this set and believe me it is going to be a very good score. Okay so first off I'm going to show you around the packaging. I'll just move the figures out of their way. Um, as you can see, here's the card. There is a really nice picture of the first Doctor and Saucer Commander Dalek here. Here it says 1964, which I think was the year that the episode Dalek Invasion of Earth was first broadcast. Here it says the first Doctor and Saucer Commander from the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Here it says first Doctor, 1963 to 1966. And now I'm going to show you the card. As you can see, at the top there is a Dot2 logo. There it says 5 Plus, and there it says Principal Action Figures. Here is just the bit where the figures would be in the packaging. Um, at the bottom there is an Underground Toys logo, and also a Character Options logo, and also both of their website addresses. As you can see there. And now I'm going to show you the back of the Ok so as you can see on the back there, there is a, a fact file for the first Doctor and Saucer Commander the Dalek from the Dalek Invasion of Earth and next to them it says Postable Action Figures and also next to each fact file there is a picture of the character that the fact file is referring to as you can see here there is a picture of the Saucer Commander Dalek along with another Dalek in the background and just next to it it says 1964 just by the first Doctor facts file there is a picture of the first Doctor there and just next to that picture it says first Doctor 1963 to 1966 and as you can see at the top there is another Dot 2 logo another thing saying 5 plus and at the bottom it just tells you when each Doctor first appeared and regenerated and also there is some company information Okay, so that's the packaging, and now I'm going to review the fantastic William Hartnell. Okay, so here is the absolutely brilliant William Hartnell figure. Now, the likeness to William Hartnell on this figure is absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at that. That is a... That is just a spot-on likeness to William Hartnell. It is absolutely brilliant, and I'm sure that if William Hartnell was still alive today, he would have been very very pleased with this figure because it is just absolutely brilliant as you can see it is really accurately done and I think character options have done an absolutely brilliant job of making this figure as you can see for clothing he is wearing the black jacket with the shirt underneath with the grey stripes and also the cravat at the top I think and also he is wearing the grey trousers with the black stripes and he also comes with the walking stick and yeah for detail this figure is absolutely brilliant and I think this figure is definitely one of the best Doctor Who action figures that character options have made so far and now I'm going to talk about the articulation on this figure which is also brilliant 
Okay, so the head can move from side to side a little bit, but I do not want to turn it 360 degrees because I could get quite a few paint scratches on the neck here. Because I did that with one of my 10th Doctor figures once, and the paint from the blue suit actually went all over his neck, and it and now it is completely ruined. Um, anyway, the arms can do a 360 degree turn from the shoulders. They can swivel 360 degrees. Um, the arms can move up at the elbows and also the hands can swivel 360 degrees. Um, but on my one, only the right hand can swivel 360 degrees, whereas the left hand cannot swivel at all, which is a bit unusual, but I'm not too fussed really. Um, as you can see, he can turn from the waist a little bit and you can move his legs outwards a little bit, but you can't make him do the splits because the black jacket doesn't move out that far. Um, also, the legs can move up for the top. They are meant to swivel 360 degrees just above the knees, but sadly on my one, can't do that because the, the joints are really stuck in. Um, and also, he can bend at the knees. So... That is the William Hartnell figure, possibly one of the best Doctor Who action figures that Couch Options have ever made. The detail is absolutely brilliant and the articulation is absolutely brilliant. And out of 10 I give it a, an extremely well earned 10 out of 10 because it is an absolutely fantastic figure and I definitely highly recommend it. But the review is not over yet because now I'm going to review the first doctor's walking stick as you can see it's been painted a nice brown color it's quite long and it's got quite a few curls here very nicely done and out of 10 i'll give it 10 out of 10 because it is a really nice accessory and i'm glad they included it and you just basically fit it into william hartnell's hand like this and you can pose him with the walking stick like so and yeah that is pretty much it for this part of the review this has been my review for the forbidden planet and san diego comic con 2009 exclusive first doctor figure one of the best doctor who action figures that character options have made so far in my opinion okay please feel free to comment and rate this review and please feel free to send a video response thanks for watching bye and now I'm going to review the Saucer Commander Dalek in part 2. See you then!